Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alif The Boy Scouts of America provides a program for young people that builds character, trains them in the responsibilities of participating citizenship, and develops personal fitness. In addition, the program emphasizes reverence and duty to God. For the next few minutes, we'll explore how becoming a chartered organization for scouting can greatly benefit your mosque. Scouting is very related to the Islam because uh, the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is called the Sunnah. And if you go, if read all this tradition, that's uh, the teaching, it's all the same thing which the Boy Scouts of America or the scouting laws exist. A scout is a brother to another brother. Brotherhood is something that is central to every faith tradition, and Islam is no exception to that. It allows them to enact it. Let's just take uh, the symbolism of the scout sign. The thumb, the larger, stronger of the fingers, covers and is connected to the pinky, the weakest of the fingers. The lesson, the strong does not abuse the weak. The strong takes care and protects the weaker, and is connected in a circle to the weaker one. That's a symbol that is very much a part of Islam's tradition. Part of the value for mosques in becoming a chartered organization for scouting lies in the Boy Scouts' strong emphasis on duty to God. One example, the Religious Emblems Program, which helps youth grow in their faith. Quite literally, for a Muslim, duty to God would mean praying five times a day. Uh, so as, as a Muslim scout, uh, we, you know, we take time out during our days to, you know, pray, to pray to God since it's an obligation for every Muslim to do that. But duty to God also means just being a good Muslim, you know, uh, you know not, not lying, not cheating, not stealing, being kind to others and helping out. And, uh, you know, being a scout, I know that this aligns perfectly with the scout law and everything else scouting stands for. Scouting stands for making a boy a man teaching him good values and to be an upstanding citizen. And that's exactly what Islam wants. One evening we went out with some of the scouts who were going after the astronomy merit badge and looking to the heavens to see the stars. We laid on our backs and we looked at the skies and in the heaven and one of the scouts who had memorized this verse recited it in the fi khalqis samawati wal ard those who remember God in all positions, standing, sitting, and lying on their backs. And when they look to the heavens and they see the stars, they're reminded of the fact that we have a purpose in this life. And our purpose is to show gratitude and, and, and thankfulness by doing right to the Lord above. I have more bait. No way to cut them. I realize the scout law is literally every single characteristic listed on there is something that you could easily trace back to Islam. Uh, whether it be being clean, uh, courteous, thrifty, all those things. I think that um, the scout law is something that really is perfectly in line with Islamic faith and that's something that not many people realize. So in a way you could say that scouting is actually a very great Islamic activity. Scouting and faith form an inseparable bond. Those faith institutions serving as chartered organizations can attest how scouting supports exactly the values you desire to instill in your boys as they move into manhood. Your local scouting professional can help you with the details and responsibilities of becoming a chartered organization.
please consider carefully the benefits of scouting. Together, let's keep building tomorrow's great leaders and responsible citizens.